this is a place where your friends go. It's just an extremely friendly environment. Yeah, me and my friends used to come here all the time before I worked here, and it's just a great atmosphere, a lot of fun. It's a, it's a party, you know, like these spots are great times. The kind you won't get living in this dead end town. I said I'm sick of seeing so It's just so many good bands here and always live entertainment every night. There's something for everybody, which I think is a lot of fun. Ready or not, she got the call already in Geez, we just redid our menu and it's so good. I'm a sucker for the wings. A couple different flavors. The wing bites are top notch. Safe by far. We're the V spot on Providence Road. It's the best thing ever. Welcome back. We are here at the V spot in Scranton with Scranton based musician Gus the Savage, originally from the Bronx, New York. And you are watching Juicebox Live. Without further ado, Gus the Savage. What's going on, yeah? It's great to be here. Um, usually, got my fellow V spotters in the crowd, but unfortunately, due to coronavirus, that can't happen. Um, but we're still going to have a lot of fun. I hope you guys are tuning in. Make sure you guys comment with some questions. We're about to kick it off with some actress of the new album, Savage 20, which you can stream on all platforms. Let's get it poppin'. Feeling said you love me wasn't facts, bitch. Now you trying to be brand new, you turn into an actress. Acting savage, shut on my mattress. Ain't she didn't fuck with me, but all of that was captured. Fucking with my feelings said you love me wasn't facts, bitch. Now you trying to be brand new, you turn into an actress. Shorty hit my phone like a quarter after 16. Baby, you should come through, send a picture, you hella thick. But I analyzed the picture and said, what the fuck is this? She was laying in her bed, she sent a full body pic. Now I'm sitting in my thoughts like, who the fuck just took this flick? I had to jump up in the big body and pull up to her crib. She said, baby, it's not what you thinking. I said, nah, I beat her in 10. When I pull up to that house, I looked and seen the other whip. Now this bitch is playing with my soul This shit driving me crazy and I might lose control Ah, 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 ah. Why the hell she bring him in a home? I'm about to grab my grip and I'ma aim it at his dome Ah, 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 ah. She was a bad bitch, sad bitch, on my mattress Claimed she didn't fuck with me, but all that had was captured Fucking with my feelings, said you love me, wasn't facts, bitch Now you tryna be brand new, you turned into an actress Bad bitch, sad bitch, on my mattress Claimed she didn't fuck with me, but all that had was captured Fucking with my feelings, said you love me, wasn't facts, bitch Now you tryna be brand new, you turned into an actress Baby, we both know you ain't true you an extra type of bitch and I don't fuck with you I know what I know, I know you a call And the fact that we got down, we went straight to the floor I'm so done with this motherfucking trick shit Me and God crowning, just trying to make these hits Bitch, actress, sad bitch, you thought you was a bad bitch Now I came to get it, girl, you got you looking average That was by myself and Ty Soul, who can't be here again, unfortunately, because of coronavirus. But I would love to have him on stage. Every time we perform that song, we get the crowd going. Um, we got any questions over there? Yeah. Um, so, so how different is this? You know, coming from performing with crowds, you know, at places like the V Spot, and now COVID, you're, you know, performing to three, four people. How different is that? Um, 
It's it's kind of different, but the same in a way because they still get a chance to see it from home. You know, some are probably sitting on their couch, sitting on their bed. But obviously, you know, it's better with the crowd in here. When I come up here for the Rising Talent competition, my favorite line is, V-Spot makes a noise. I put the mic out there and they go crazy. You know, and not hearing that right now, you know, hurts me a little bit. But, you know, due to the coronavirus and everything that's happening, again, they can't be here. I miss them a lot, you know. I, I miss the, the drunk people sitting in there. I miss seeing <laughs> Vinny. You know, I miss them not letting me sit at the bar when I want to get a water. It's funny. But it's, it's, it's wild. It's still fun, though. Yeah, I'm sure you get a lot of energy from the people watching you. I know there's a big exchange there. I just felt it, you know, just watching you with two, three people in the audience instead of a whole group. Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I know how to work the crowd. So, like, <laughs> I, I love it. I love when I see people sitting right there. I love when I see people sitting over there. I love when people are standing up. Some people get close to, you know, where the cameras might be. But still, it's a lot of fun when they're in the room because they, they bring out the... The vibe, you know, it's like, right. it's like a movie. So um, you mentioned that song that you just did is off of a recent album that you just put out? Yes. Can um, you tell me a little bit about that? I dropped it on Valentine's Day. It's called Savage 20. It's a series from last year's uh, mixtape EP, if you want to say, Savage 19, where that was four songs. This year I brought it back again with eight songs, and it features a plethora of local talent. Lucas Hex, Ty Soul, Amanda Medicine, Amanda Roken, Michael McDonald, Young Trav, YPC Ty, you name it, whoever's on there is on there. You know, and nice. they all did great. Produced by some of the best local producers out there who are young still. Some of them my age, some of them younger than me. So it, it's, um, I put a lot of hard work into it. You know, it took a cool. long time. I started working on it maybe in September. And then I didn't release it till February. So you know how long that took. Getting all the <laughs> sessions, the beats, getting made and all that stuff. But it was definitely a fun process getting into the studio. Uh, my boy Steez, he has his studio. He originally had it in his house. And then I got a chance to go to JL Studios. So shout out JL Studios. Love definitely, JL. Definitely different experience. A whole different room for the booth. Like I was, my mind was blown. <laughs> and especially having Tyso on the actress track. Like he's got some vocals. He's got pipes. That's my boy. I love him. So um, where can folks find this album and listen to it? You can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. If you live overseas, it's probably on whatever streaming platform you got. Nice. Like pretty much everywhere. Cool. Um, so what have we got coming up next? Uh, right now we got another song off of my album called Flight to LA. As much as I want to do that, <laughs> I can't. But we could take a virtual flight to LA. So let's kick it cool. off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Huh? Listen, flight to LA in the morning, but you kept me in for the whole night. I just be loving on your body, kissing on your body, I'm feeling alright. You said it hitting my phone. I thought you wanted it one time. She wanna fuck with a nigga, cause I'ma keep riding, she know I'm in my prime. Flight to LA in the morning. You kept me up for the whole night. How'd you be loving on your body, kissing on your body? I'm feeling alright. You said he hit my phone. I thought you wanted it one time. She wanna fuck with a nigga, cause I'ma keep riding, she know I'm in my prime. 13 years old when I started, that shit wasn't busting, I couldn't make no hits. Fast forward a couple years later, I'm turning up shows and I'm winning awards, bitch. Team Savage, you bout to blow up, so watch out for your girl, cause we might take her home with. But see, for the young, we ready to even in 2020, flip the whole switch. I want people screaming my name. So I'm money and the fame Said so I am so focused that I'm gonna make it It feels embedded in my brain I got the day was on the plane Chris, it's time to hit a leg Walking on the beach like a backwood And smoking that shit to the face Flight till in the morning But you kept me up for the whole night How'd you be loving on your body? Kissing on your body? I'm feeling alright You said he hitting my phone I thought you wanted it one time She wanna fuck with a nigga Cause I'ma keep riding She know I'm in my prime Flight to LA in the morning But you kept me up for the whole night How'd you be loving on your body Kissing on your body I'm feeling alright You said he hit my phone I thought you wanted it one time She wanna fuck with a nigga Cause I'ma keep riding She know I'm in my prime That's like one of my favorite songs
a lot of fun performing that song. I love it. That's, I, I was going to have a feature on that song, but I was just like, nah, I'll just do it by myself. <laughs> Um, so you mentioned that this song is also off of that album that you, mm-hmm, we were just mm-hmm. discussing. Just <laughs> um, can we talk a little bit about the writing and recording process? How does that work for you? So um, I know some people watching might find this as a shocker. <laughs> but I smoke weed, okay? And that's how I get my mind set into making a song. I listen to the beat, play it for a little bit, and then eventually the lyrics come. So I'm either typing it on my phone or I'm writing it old school in a notebook. Um, and that's how last year's EP came about. I did an EP called King of 570. And sometimes I would just be sitting on the bed, ripping the pen, listening to the beat, boom, the hook would come in. There was one song that I found the hook sitting on a toilet. So <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, that writing process. This year's writing process is a little bit of the same, but you know I like to go to the studio and I get in my zone, like I said, listen to the beat, and it's, it's kind of the same thing. Just get into it, and whew, it just comes to me. It's like natural. It's in my body already. That's really cool. Um, so how does the recording process work once you have all of that laid down? Um, I, I know for some people, like, it takes them a little bit to get their verse memorized or whatever the case may be. Me, I, I've looked over my lift. Yeah. Damn, I can't talk today. <laughs> I've looked over my lyrics so many times that by the time I get to the studio, I'm already just in the booth or in the chair sitting. I'm like, play the beat. We're ready to go. <laughs> and by the time you know it, I, got, I get like, what, like two and a half hours of studio time, and most of it's done. That's cool. Um, so I just want to mention, um, if you have questions for Gus or anything, you know, you want to say something nice, um, just drop it down in the live stream, and I will announce it. Um, so without further ado, what's up next? What do we got? In My Head is next. That's another <laughs> song off my album that features Amanda Rogan, Main to Medicine, and Michael Does McDonald on guitar. He destroyed it. I love it. Let's kick it off. Refuse to take a fall. Now I'm a rare breed, one of the last of the true MCs. 
Hot, cold, like two degrees From all the hate and the scrutiny They really try to ruin me And shatter my whole my dreams brutally But God gave me the will to proceed So when I move, they all follow my lead I hear them voices in my head, they inspire me To be that king and live free No hoes barred, no restrictions Me and Gus doing what we love, just living No hoes barred, no restrictions Me and Gus doing what we love, just living I keep hearing all these voices In my head I keep hearing all these voices in my head. So I have to say, um, I think that's my favorite so far. I love the local talent that you've got featured on there. I definitely was very selective when I picked. I wanted to make sure that this album was like one of the best pieces of work that I put out there. So when I chose Amanda Rogan, I had listened to her stuff before. And I was like, yeah, you're a good female vocalist. I need you on a track. When I picked Lucas Hex, I heard some of his music. And then I met him at the Steamtown Music Awards, where I won my award for Hip Hop Artist of the Year. And from then on, I was like, yeah, I want you either on a song or on the album. Every, every person who is on my album, I either met them at a show or I met them hanging out with my friends or they just, you know, we just connected. Um, and that's that was the real fun part of making that album. And a lot of the songs on there, they just came from either how I was feeling at the time or if I wanted to make something to relate to people. And that's one of them, because I know some people always have their voices in their head telling them to do one thing and then on the other side telling them to do another. So it's it's really something that I wanted to... I wanted everybody to listen to each song and there's a message within them. You know, um, the music scene around here is really something special and I think you really captured that in that song. Um, So I just want to take a minute to read some comments on some of the live streams that we have going here. Um, Jermaine Croon says, dope project. What up, Gus? (laughs) Shout out (laughs) Main to Medicine. I just did your verse, man. I I love performing that verse. I love, I would love to get a chance to performing with him the last time he was on a show with me he had to leave out of state for some personal reasons but i've never gotten a chance to perform with him um but hearing that verse in the studio and me getting a chance to perform it every time it's like wow you know i got an og on my song like, he's made mercy gang for years bob too like he's doing a lot of things so i respect him <laughs> um so actually uh natalie marie on facebook wants to hire you for her 50th birthday party <laughs> I am down for that. I am so down for that. I could, you know, hit me with a karaoke machine. I'll sing your (laughs) greatest hits, Michael Jackson, whatever you want. Hit me up. She says, "Um, why didn't I ever hear of this guy in love within 15 seconds? Love his voice and his vibe. Thank you so much. I try to keep all the positivity, you know? Even though we're in a tough time, we still got to be positive. We still got to push past all that negativity, you know, no negative energy around me. I'm all about good vibes and having fun. Good. You know, there's definitely a lot of negativity negativity going around in the world today. So it's good to hear, you know, positivity sometimes. Thank you so much. I try to keep (laughs) it that way. You know, I want my heart at peace. I want my life to be peaceful. So I try to stay away. So um, what's up next? What is up next is probably, (laughs) what's that? Oh, Gus versus the Savage. That's the last song on my album. Um, That is about myself talking with my inner demon. And you'll see that throughout the song. The first half is me talking about the experience, and then the second half is my demon's response. So let's kick it. Produced by Dimitri. It's all good. Gus 
that I used to be And that's partially cause of your fault You just ain't manifesting up inside my melon And you steady controlling my thoughts You don't let me think straight Got me feeling like I'm insane My heartbeat is heavy You're out to get me Feels like I'm slaving Cool to game day I've been on the grind since young So it feels amazing how I be progressing Lost my mama when I was 16 years tough And you gotta throw dirt on the casket You was there for it all though Looking for violence and cause, yo Instead you just hurt all the people around you And walking around like you ain't causing me Getting so tired of you, you reside in my soul and I don't like the feeling You the type of thing that flows in my blood that I made me turn into a villain Don't know how to get rid of you cause I've been stuck with you for a long, long time now I feel like you just a part of me but I'm not keeping you in pain, you control of my mind now Who you think is that easy to get rid of me? Now hold me your eyes, we're sticking Been living inside of your soul for like half of your life so your body's taken See the nice little brain of yours that makes you music, yeah, all of that shit comes from me If it wasn't for me, your eyes wouldn't be shit in this whole country music scene don't you see that I'm helping you? Sorry, I told you a dream and make all of my work go to waste. They liking my taste, so I'ma keep giving them more, but I might just have to raise the stakes. Whatever it takes, just solidify my spot at the top of the charts. So stand back, let me do my thing, let me show you that the whole work can be yours. Ah. It's another one of my favorites. I love that song a lot because I, I fight with my inner demon all the time. Don't we all? <laughs> um, so I just want to mention... Um, Duds, who you just featured on the last song, Daddy. <laughs> said, thanks for the kind words, brother. Sounding great. We got to make another <laughs> song, bro. That's all I'm going to say. You know where to find me. Um, so I should also mention that everyone can find you on all of the social media f- featured behind you there. Yes. So if you like what you're hearing, go give Gus a like. Follow him, whatever you would like. Um, listen to more of that album. Um, so I should also mention, since we're in the V-Spot and I'm feeling very hungry, although I can't get food right now, um, the V-Spot is offering takeout Monday through Saturday, 3 to 8. All you have to do is call 570-963-7888. Just yes. call and get takeout. Shout cause... out Vinny. I love Vinny. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Oh, mark my words, Vinny. <laughs> October 26th, I'm coming in here. I'm touring 21. So you got it. <laughs> Um, (laughs) so, uh, I heard you might have some music videos in the works. Yes, I do. I have a music video that will be filmed by Charlie Benacasa. If that's how you pronounce his last name, if I butchered it, I'm sorry. But he's going to be filming the video for Actress that features Ty Soul, the song that I sang earlier. And it's going to play out the whole storyline of that song. So it's going to go from me getting the picture of the girl to me going to the girl's house. I I don't want to reveal too much. Just know (laughs) it's going to be a movie. Cool, cool. Secrets. Got to keep it a secret. Um, So are you originally, I I know you're originally from the Bronx, but how did you end up in Scranton? Um, Well, due to some unfortunate things that happened in my life, my mama passed away and I had to move over here and live with my sister. Um, But that was kind of like a a little wake up call for me. Like I got to fix my life because in New York I was a troubled kid and I had four options, jail, drugs, gang, or death. So I chose neither. And my mom made the sacrifice to help me with that. And as soon as I moved over here, complete 180, went to Riverside High School, got my diploma, was involved in extracurricular activities that I was never involved in before. Like, my mindset completely changed. Now I just stay out of trouble. I just I do my little thing, of course, but stay out of trouble and stay peaceful. That's my motto, just stay out of trouble, stay peaceful. I don't want no problems with nobody. I go to work, I do my music, that's about it. That's a great story. Thank you. She's like my main inspiration for why I do it. She was my number one fan when we lived in New York. We lived in a big apartment building. And when we lived there, I would write some raps down, have the beat, go to her room, be like, Mom, you got to check this out. She'd be like, oh, my God, (laughs) you got it. You got talent. You got talent. And I'm sure that's how all parents are. But I knew my mom was, like, really genuine about it. Like, you have to pursue this, and you have to get somewhere in the music industry. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Sounds like a special woman. Definitely. <laughs> it's hard to crack in this area, too, though, with me trying to make a name for myself. Because a lot of people, they love rock music. And I'm, I'm not a rock star. But if I have to be to get more attention, so be it. I've already right. had mine, you know, thinking about it. Like, yeah, we got to make a rock song. So I, I might just have something in the works. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so without further ado, um, what do you have next? What's up next? <laughs> What's that? Oh, 13 Reasons Why. It is a song about bullying, depression, and suicide. I wrote this last year. It's off of the King of 570 EP, which can be streamed on SoundCloud. 
features myself and my cousin, who's a local artist himself, YPC Ty. So without further ado, Cody, kick it off. Shout out Cody for being the sound guy for my music. Might want to use the mic stand for this one. Yeah. Huh? They think about the game, make guys because he ain't cool. How about the girl you caught the fabric when she walked in the school? They suicidal, can't you see the fucking tears in their eyes? They wanna die for many reasons. You the thirteenth, why? Think about the game, make guys because he ain't cool. How about the girl you caught the fabric when she walked in the school? They suicidal, can't you see the fucking tears in their eyes? They wanna die for many reasons. You the thirteenth, why? I'm sick and tired of people and their verbal abuse. They be the reason why we find it kissing up on the news to order pain, all the hurt, and they don't know what to do because they got a big drama from the kids at the school. They call them nerds, the dweebs, the losers, and the lames. Any y'all parents teach y'all better than the cool people named us because their parents raise their ass just not give a fuck. And then they wonder why the high school just shot the fuck up Whoa, man down, that's my man down I hear you bullied back in school, you got you shook, you got you scared now Get off the floor, pick up your hands now He used to be the victim, tables turn now, his ass the villain now Should've never bullied him, now you starting to get it Now he gather up the crown, put the trigger Then it's over black, take your words to heart Even when you said you was playing around your face on a hoodie And now his ass is talking town What about Stacey? Yeah, you know the name She had a crush on you, you tricked her into giving you brain That shit made it go berserk and made her really insane So that you get the rallies, pistol and put one on her brain She wrote a letter right before she knew what she was gonna do She couldn't finish off the letter without mentioning you Start investigating, then you get the knock at the door. The cops that got you in the car, not a question to you. They think about the king, make cries because he ain't cool. How about the girl you called the fabulous when she walked in the school? You suicidal, can't you see the fucking tears in their eyes? They wanna die for many reasons, you the 13th, why? Think about the king, make cries because he ain't cool. How about the girl you called the fabulous when she walked in the school? You suicidal, can't you see the fucking tears in their eyes? They wanna die for many reasons, you the 13th, why? Hey, wake up, I'm mad until I smoke a blunt. Feel sick, I can't eat, well, I'ma throw it up. Every day is a day while I feel close enough to pulling this blick to my brain and fucking blow it up. I look fine, so you wouldn't even. No, bro. Call fast so I drink lean and slow it up. They say I'm nice that I could be the chosen one, but I don't feel that way. So I don't know why I've been going on. We just some products of what we was raising. In. Was chilling with some homies that were right to fake friends. I caught my bread up on the motherfucking days and the more shit hit me at the bills I done paid them. I love myself, but my demons, yeah, I hate them. Don't chase my dreams, so why these bitches think I chase them? My problems big, I don't think I want to face them. So I'm gonna grab this gun and I'ma just have to erase them. Bang, all you see is brains on the wall now. When you down, who the fuck you gonna call now? They saying tired with you, you supposed to boil out. You supposed to blow, come back and take us all out, but I don't wanna do that shit no more. Grew up, I got different goals. I've been walking like a long lost soul. Look at my head in that bullet hole. Think about the king, make eyes because it ain't cool. How about the girl you called the fabulous when she walked into school? They suicidal, can't you see the fucking tears in their eyes? They wanna die for many reasons, you the 13th why? Think about the king, make eyes because it ain't cool. How about the girl you called the fabulous when she walked into school? They suicidal, can't you see the fucking tears in their eyes? They wanna die for many reasons, you the 13th why? I don't know how I just did that, but I just rapped that whole song without coughing, and I'm proud. <laughs> you know, one of my next questions was going to be, what's the hardest song for you to perform? But I think I just answered it myself. <laughs> That's got to be one of the hardest if I'm not vocally prepared for it. Um, but I feel vocally prepared. I don't know what just... It you was pulled it off. It sounded great. I had to. I had no choice. I'm like, I'm not about to cough <laughs> in the middle of this song. So I did it. So um, I just want to take a minute and read some more comments on okay. a few of our live streams here. Um, Jonathan on Facebook says, sounds, amaz sounds amazing, <laughs> brother. Keep it going. Thank you so much. And um, Robert Sullivan, also on Facebook says he just played the song Gus vs. the Savage on SoundCloud. Oh, thank you Good so timing. much. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate the plays. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. Share it if you want to. Again, you can find me on all these platforms here. I'm more active on Facebook and Instagram than anything. I'll try to be more active on Twitter, but I don't know. I don't see that happening. <laughs> um, so I just have a quick question. Go ahead. What was, you know, little 12, 14 year old Gus listening to and where did you get your in inspiration from? I was listening to a lot of drill rappers. Um, so like Chief Keef, Lil Durk, Lil Bibby, stuff like that. Um, I didn't really have musical influences. I just tried to kind of go with it and build my own style. But like if I, if I were to look up to any artist, I would say A Boogie is one of them. I love his sound. He's from the Bronx. So, and I got a chance to do a song with his brother. Um, everybody who's like, I guess, founding fathers, like Fat Joe, Big Pun, Biggie, Tupac. He's not, he, I don't think he's, I think he's from New York, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. But yeah, like artists like that, J. Cole, Kendrick, 
that's where I get like the storytelling vibes from. But I try to be my own person. I try to have my own sound. I don't want to sound like nobody. I gotcha. Cool. Um, without further ado, again, <laughs> what's next? What? Oh, we're not doing that. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so the next song is called Move On. This one's about my ex-girlfriend, who I don't like anymore. Like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> okay? But I was in my bag when I made this song. So without further ado, we got Move On. Off of the King of 570 EP, which, again, you can go stream on SoundCloud. <clears throat> I'm trying to do is move on And then I realize that the love I got for you is too damn strong mm. So I'm trying to do is move on But my emotions got the best of me and I can't take no more Girl, I still think about the things that you said And girl, your voice, I hear it like it's music in my head I've been alone with my thoughts while I'm laying in my bed and I've been quiet so long and now it's time to dismiss it I did you wrong, wrong, wrong and I ain't mean to My body got taken over, I felt so evil You tried to help me, got blind and I couldn't see you I stupid was, I overreacted, had to delete you It's been a minute, little baby, since I last seen you And every time times where I wish I could hug and squeeze you I want the world to know my love for you, not see through I thank God every day he gave me the pleasure to meet you Let's do this thing, give me one last chance From the bottom of my heart, give me one last chance No, I ain't playing what I'm saying, that I want you for life I put that ring up on your finger and I'll make you my wife And you don't know what I'll be seeing when I look in your eyes Cause I get lost up in your soul while I'm enjoying my time I climb the mountains, go through obstacles, want you to be mine I wanna be old in a rock and get it back at the time Said fuck a rock cause you a diamond and I like how you shine You like the star, I always talk about your light is so bright I go to sleep and then I wake up having you on my mind I say I hope that maybe one day you'll start hitting my line uh -huh. And all I'm trying to do is move on and then I realized that the love I got for you is too damn strong Yeah So what I'm trying to do is move on But my emotions got the best of me and I can't take no more Yeah I still remember when that song came out And I was like real sad about it And then I got a new girlfriend And then I got really happy so now I've been dating her for nine months and I couldn't ask for anyone better. So if you're watching, honey, I love you. <laughs> it's the ebbs and flows of life, right? Um, so I've got some more comments here that I would like to read. Shoot. Um, Haley Rios says, yes, baby. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just... <laughs> she heard you. <laughs> um, and Kenneth Blake says, definitely looking you up. Young sir, that flow is sick. Thank you so much, yo. I'm I'm appreciating everybody's comments. I'm appreciating everybody for tuning in. You know, juice box sessions. I hit them up. I seen the tweet. I was like, I'm there. So, <laughs> see, you were on Twitter, right? It's yeah, on the tweet. I was on. I got the notification. I got push notifications for juice box sessions. And as soon as I seen any band or singer want to perform tomorrow night, I was like, me, <laughs> duh. Me, obviously. Um, so I have a question too. Um, from Robert Sullivan on Facebook. Okay. Um, when did you decide music was your calling? Um, I was in high school around here, and it was like my senior year. And I was really pushing music throughout my whole high school career. But I wanted to originally go to college for culinary arts. And I was, you know, in the class doing my thing. I went to the college to talk to them. Shout out Lacamoana College. Shout out Shara Grande for, you know, being my instructor real quick. Um, but something told me, like, yeah, you're not going to college. Music is the way. <laughs> and I feel like that was my mom's voice in the back of my head. Like, she would want me to go to college, obviously, but she knew that my calling was music. Because before my father passed away, God rest his soul, I heard a lot of stories about him. I heard that he was a singer. I heard that he played instruments. So it's, it's like, got to be in my bloodline to do this. And that's when I was just like, you know what? Culinary is not for me. I'm going to go pursue this. I'm going to keep trying. And then... That's when Cody introduced me to NEPA Rising Talent Competition. And that's when it all started right here at the V-Spot. It's funny how it came full, full circle, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> and that was like my first time performing in, 
in front of a crowd at a bar. And that first night, I messed up. The second night I came back, I was like, I'm ready for this. Like, the first go around, you know, it was rough. Second night, I was like, I'm ready. And I just kept on going until one season, I made it all the way to the finals. On the second night I came in, I won the whole night, went all the way to the finals. It was great. That's awesome. Cool. So um, let's keep this rolling. Got another song yes. for us? What do we got next? The note. Oh, The Note. The <laughs> Note Part 1. This is going to be a series of two songs. This song is about a friend who finds out that their best friend committed suicide. So I guess you could say this is the prequel to 13 Reasons Why. Kick it. <laughs> Tough situation is worse when nobody ever sees it coming One day you're here and the next day you're dead Because you took your life as if it wasn't nothing People try to talk, you say leave you alone All by yourself, always feeling alone One day you went to your room and you did what you did But you ain't forget to leave a no It was a messed up situation It's worse when nobody ever sees it coming One day you're here and the next day you're dead Because you took your life as if it wasn't nothing People try to talk, you say leave you alone All by yourself, always feeling alone One day you went to your room and you did what you did But you ain't forget to leave a no Woke up and everything is feeling iffy Something inside of me is feeling empty Let's you called and knew something was wrong But I could feel my heart as it was getting heavy Hopped in a whip and right to your crib I knew your family since I was a kid You was my best friend when I got there I didn't understand what you just did I hear the siren like my vision haze I see your mama said she getting crazy Screaming and hollering that she don't know what to do Cause she just saw some motherfucking big I see your body is up on the stretcher She wanted to touch you but they didn't let her The only thing I can see in her hand is I'm holding on tightly to your favorite sweater As to what happened she ain't wanna tell me I see the cops and they brought out the shells Be pleased on me that you ain't do what I think that you did But I'm screaming asking God to help me Couldn't believe that my best friend was dead I went home to go try to go sleep in my bed Then I got a text from your sister She told me to read and you shut yourself right in the head Cliffhanger That's unreleased That's gonna be on an upcoming mixtape I have called Rockstar Savage So that's unreleased I got a few unreleased that I'm gonna be playing tonight And that's one of them That's heartbreaking <laughs> that, I wanted it to be. I wanted people to listen to that and be like, holy, what is this? So that's so, why um, there's going to be a part two. <laughs> I've got one more comment for you. Um, Irene Donnelly on Facebook says, love your sound. Thank you. I love your comment. <laughs> um, so I do want to mention just one more time, if you like what you're hearing, um, give Gus a like on Facebook, follow him on Instagram, wherever you do your social media. You can't see it. Hold <laughs> on real quick. Bow. <laughs> um, and of course, like the V-Spot, any PA scene, and Juice Box sessions for more. Um, and without further ado, let's keep it rolling. Okay, we got another unreleased. On my mind, I wrote this for my girlfriend. We were going through a tough time, so I, I had to get it out of my system. I wanted her to know how I felt, and the only way I know how to do that, keep, keep it going, it's, there's still time for me to talk throughout the intro, <laughs> um, but I wanted her to know how I felt, and the only way I could do that is through music, and that's how I express myself. So without further ado, on my mind. I have a hard time, can't sleep at night, got mad shit on my mind So I'm turning to my pen and paper, writing on some rhymes From the pain that's on my heart with you, I wish I had more time Make mistakes, I'm only human, but it's fucking with my life I have a hard time, can't sleep at night, got mad shit on my mind So I'm turning to my pen and paper, writing on some rhymes From the pain that's on my heart with you, I wish I had more time Make mistakes, I'm only human, but it's fucking with my life I feel sorry for the things I've done, I'm putting you through hell But the only way that I even want for you you should be well I can see that you're unhappy, baby girl, yeah, I could tell So I gotta fix my shit because for you I will not fail You my heart and human form and girl, I hate it when you cry So let's talk about our problems, roll up on, go get high We got differences, but that's okay cause you the one for me Close my eyes and see the future, you're the only girl I see Girl, you crazy if you think that I'ma ever walk away And this simple text from you will always brighten up my day Girl, you really make me happy, yeah, it's us against the world I'm forever your big Papa here for real, my baby girl Said I love you, ain't no changing that 
Fell in love, can't take it back August 22nd was the day my happiness came back I want you to truly know that I'm sorry for my wrongs And the only way to say that was to put it in the song I have a hard time, can't sleep at night, got mashed it on my mind So I'm turning to my pen and paper, writing up some rhymes When the pain is not my heart with you, I wish I had more time But it's eight, I'm only human, but it's fucking with my life I have a hard time, can't sleep at night, got mashed it on my mind So I'm turning to my pen and paper, writing up some rhymes When the pain is not my heart with you, I wish I had more Time. Let me take some money, you remember this fucking with my life Said it's fucking with my life Oh, uh. yeah. hey, hey, yeah I have a hard time, can't sleep at night, got mess it on my mind Yeah, yeah Feeling pain in some heart with you, I wish I had more time a little, a little different tune for that one. You know? Get the right backtrack for it. So uh, once again, this is Gus the Savage. We are live at the V Spot in Scranton. Shout out the V Spot. <laughs> Shout out NAPA scene. Shout out Juice Box Sessions. Shout out so everybody got, who's uh, watching. <laughs> just a few more comments. Uh, Barbara Knigel. Sorry if I messed up your last name. He says, or um, she says he sounds good. Thank you. Kyle Rebar, another local musician now living in California, says, nice. I need to go to Cali. <laughs> um, and Jermaine Kroon, again, says, shout out to Vinny and the V-Spot. Yes, sir. <laughs> shout out Vinny. He's sitting in the back. I can see him he's creeping. <laughs> so I should also mention, once again, um, that the V-Spot is open for takeout uh, Monday through Saturday, 3 to 8. Just give them a call, 570-963-7888. It's a fact. Make sure you get them <laughs> boneless wings. Um, so I just have a quick question for you. What's up? When do you write the most? Like, do you have a hard time writing sometimes? Or, you know, when do you find the most inspiration? When I'm really sad and depressed. That's I think when, that's the case for most people. Yeah, I feel like that's when the best music comes out. Because as of late, I have not found myself writing anything. I haven't typed up any new songs except for the ones that are unreleased obviously but i haven't really sat down and written anything new um and i don't know why sometimes i get that blockage in my head maybe i just need to be extra sad again which i don't <laughs> want but if yeah the, don't do that if it's got to be done it's got to be done to make the good music you know um but I, i'm finding myself like in a little block right now but hopefully get over it i gotcha um so yeah i have nothing else for you right now but I bet you want to do some more. What's next? <laughs> yeah. Savage 20 featuring Lucas. Hex. Oh, my God. It's my favorite song. OK, I probably <laughs> say that a lot about a lot of songs. But Lucas Hex is one of my favorite local artists in the area. And the fact that I got him on this song. Crazy. Let's get it. So it's quiet, trying to live a better life, but all my family keeps dying. Rest in peace, all my loved ones up in heaven, no, they fine. I'm just trying to be successful, had to stop with all that crying. No, you never felt my pain, so don't you say you understand me? They try off in my head with hopes and dreams and all these fantasies. Can't let them get inside, cause even mom said I can't trust her. So got bitches on my body, but my mom won't let me trust her. Oh. Gus told me to kill him. I, I think, think I gotta go. How I'm so much older than all of them. And I'm still on the road. How I keep on giving out game and you still don't fucking know. How your wife be says you don't know me, but make, make yourself at home. Wait, I'm just popping my shit. I'm feeling super wild. I could call him my click and, and I, I make, make the body pop. I inspire these kids. And it's really been a while. Ten years I've been doing this shit. And I'm still out popping style. Real shit when I ride. I do real shit when I ride. My girl real thinking that's fine. Only touch a body that's God. I just pass it. 
torch and gust and I know shit might could be fine Saw you ballin' on the bus, you said it's Lambos when you ride Know you lied, don't got time, been in bandos and been high Write my lines, record time, I just kill shit and recline This shit mine, by design, wrap my napkin when I die and I feast Boy, you foot out in the streets, be deceased Boy, you better have my seat, Gus a G Yeah, that's me Next in line to bring the heat Kiss my feet While you're talking shit, I'm sleep Get my Z's Yeah, I'm peaceful while you beef Get my Z's I could barely lift my arm and get a three Yeah, you better mind your Q's and your P's Yeah, yeah I, I told you I'm a G, best belief Boom, boom Oh my God That song gets me so excited I love it that's awesome that you get to collaborate with so many local musicians oh around here. I love hearing them. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, you go from just listening to them to now you got songs with them that you can listen to and enjoy and show all your <laughs> friends. Like, yo, look who I got on my thing. I got Lucas Hex. I bet you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, with everything going on, what are you most looking forward to once things start to open back up? I mean, it's summertime. So I want to go to the water park if I could. <laughs> You know, I, I want to get back to the movies. I haven't sat in a movie theater in a bit. I want to get back in here and be able to eat some good boneless wings and some burgers and <laughs> have a water, you know, just a water for now. But I, I just really want to get back inside of places, you know, enjoy the atmosphere. It's not the same when you go pull up to the spot and you just get your food and bring it home. By the time you get home, you got some soggy ass freaking breadsticks, okay, and the sauce don't taste like the sauce when they first cook it, you know, it, you know the mess, come on now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just can't wait to get back inside and get back to doing stuff like this, because this right here is a blessing. I love performing, and I love performing in front of people, so when I get that chance again, I'm going to make sure that I don't blow it. So, um, since you're not out performing right now, you're writing a little bit more, you know, where are you hoping to take Gus the Savage in the future? I want to take Gus Savage everywhere. Like, I, I'm not being cocky when I say this either. I am one of the best artists in this area, and I know that I have the potential to make it out of this area. So all I got to do is keep on doing what I'm doing now, which is everyday grind. You know, nonstop. I can't never stop. I've wanted to stop so many times, but a lot of people just keep on telling me, what are you doing? You're crazy. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Keep on going. So that's, I just, I want to take myself everywhere. I want to be international. I want to go to Mexico and walk into a bodega and hear my music playing. I want to go to Puerto Rico, hear my music playing at the resort, you know, stuff like that. I, I need to get out. Cool. Um, so of the songs that you've performed and, you know, your other discography, what's your favorite one to perform? My favorite song <laughs> to perform? It's a tough question, I know. Is, yeah, that is a pretty tough question. Uh, can I do top three? Of course, yeah. Okay, so number one would have to be fakes. I wrote that in high school, and it was about you know a whole bunch of fake people in my life that backstabbed me. Um, my second favorite is Actress. I love performing that song and listening to it. And the third one has to be a good one. So I'm going to go with Message to Mom, and that's a song I made for my mother, um, I would say maybe a year or maybe half of that before she passed away. Or wait, after she passed away. I can't say I got you. that. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> um, so what's up next? What's up next is... Last one, Trust Nobody. Trust Nobody, which Ooh, is the last, last song. One. Yeah, that's the last song on the set. That's unreleased off of the new album, not album, off of the new mixtape that I'm working on, Rockstar Savage which will probably be on all streaming platforms if I can get the clearances, if not SoundCloud exclusive. So let's kick it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ha. GTS. No, I can't trust nobody. Cause niggas is moving suspicious. They getting mad cause they see a young nigga winning And all I'm trying to do is turn up and fuck up the city Yeah, I do it alone, I never need it Nobody with me can't trust nobody These niggas is moving suspicious They getting mad cause they see a young nigga winning And all I'm trying to do is turn up and fuck up the city Yeah, I do it alone, I never need it Nobody niggas is bitches, they be on some snake shit 
Boom, 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 bo
So um, once again, just mentioning, this is Juicebox Live um, at the V-Spot in Scranton. You can get takeout here um, Monday through Saturday, 3 to 8. Uh, just call 570-963-7888. And um, again, if you like what you're hearing, go like Gus the Savage on Facebook, <laughs> um, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you do your social media. And now I think we're ready for the next yes, song. we are ready for the encore. The, <laughs> the last ending. song. The best song, if I might say. I don't know. You decide. Kick it. Grr. Boom. Ha. GTS. You're listening to a confidence production. Uh, niggas be talking mad shit, but when I pull up on them, they do not be wanting no static. Nigga, what happened? You was just talking about engines and you was just talking about clash. And stop all the hating and get to the money. Get to the back and stay away from me. I don't have no time for y'all taking it from me for wasting my time with these bummers discussion. Niggas be talking mad shit, but when I pull up on them, they do not be wanting no static. Nigga, what happened? You was just talking about engines and you was just talking about clash. And stop all the hating and get to the money. Get to the back and stay away from me. I don't have no time because y'all taking it from me for wasting my time with these bummers discussion. I heard they wanted to see me, said I wasn't going no lessons on TV. I run up a check, but I spent it on knowledge. The street teach you shit, they ain't teach you in college. Been grinding for me and my fan for a while. I'm not stopping till I get a contract. I'm fired the garden, and I'm trying to sell out the crowd. These demons, they claiming they know me now. Part of me wants to give up, but if I stop now, will I be labeled a legend? And if I stop now, I let everyone down. Who are trying to teach me a valuable lesson? I'm not going to stop because I'm on a mission. And if you don't like it, you don't got to listen. I'm making my bread without whipping in kitchens and chilling with crackers who steady be sniffing. I see the hate and they envy, so them it's okay, but you better respect me. I'm treating this music like it's 9 to 5 because I let the breath, so I clock on time. I told them I'm ready for shows and doing the most, and I'm just trying to make the city hot. Said so niggas been mad since I moved to the Savage, took over, so go hit the Diddy Bop. Niggas be talking mad shit, but when I pull up on them, they do not be wanting no static. Nigga, what happened? You were just talking about answers and you were just talking about clash. Stop all the hand and get to the money. Get to the back and stay away from me. I don't have no time because y'all taking it from me for wasting my time with these bummers discussion. Niggas be talking mad shit, but when I pull up on them, they do not be wanting no static. Nigga, what happened? You was just talking about angels and you was just talking about clash and stop all the hating and get to the money, get to the bag and just stay away from me. I don't have no time because they're taking it from me for wasting my time, but these bummers is gone. Pussy be talking, they talk, but I don't take offense because they ain't really do what they can. Nigga, what's happening? Boss of a no demon, I am the captain. Rolling my last and I spaz and they call me Spartacus because I be clashing. I'm on entity. I don't need no one to mention me. Don't call me brother because he don't got him a family. Billy had someone to pair me. Scum a veteran is crazy. If you a fan of me, bump on my music is fire. Be Kanye and Wu Tang inspire me, so I'm not ever. Retiring, your bitch always been admiring me. See a stain, guess I'm cleaning the street. I'm a hero, use a motherfucking leash. GTS and your trap is a beast, huh? And do not act stupid. I be with the apes who really go shoot shit, but fuck all that stupid. Cause my level been high. You saw the French fries, it shout out to Senpai. I'm a demon who stay high, I'm a demon who stay high. Shit, yes. Hold up, y'all forgot about me? Louis V for my belt, nigga, great 13s for my Jordans. But just so hard, make a bitch melt, nigga, still hate night. Yeah, I got problems with some of y'all niggas, y'all niggas start to claim me, I'm pulling out some tricks. Oh, yeah, goes by, ain't get a call or a holler, ain't even hit from y'all niggas. You niggas soft, that's why I pussy. If you don't want the static, then why'd you book me? Was it one time for your main man? Your big homie soft like a Kepler cookie, don't really care about the other shit. Cause I'm stacking money with my other bitch. Ain't stop a ticket till I'm fucking rich. Huh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it right there. Once again, thank you for being with us tonight. That was awesome. Absolutely. I've been Gus the Savage. Y'all can follow me all platforms at Gus the Savage, Instagram at underscore official Gus the Savage, Twitter, Gus the underscore Savage. Same with Snapchat if you want to connect with me for real, for real, personally. Gus the underscore Savage. I have fun. Shout out Justin for having me. It was a great time. Shout out Melissa for hosting. Shout out Teresa with the camera right here. Shout out everybody who's on the sound. Shout out Vinny in the back for letting us do this. Again, I've been GTS. This is a place where your friends go. It's an extremely friendly environment. Yeah, me and my friends used to come here all the time before I worked here, and it's just a great atmosphere, a lot of fun.
It's a, it's a party, you know, like these spots are very time. The kind you won't get living in this dead end town. I said I'm sick of seeing so It's just so many good bands here and always live entertainment every night. There's something for everybody, which I think is a lot of fun. She got the call already in Jeez, we just redid our menu and it's so good. Give it a shot. So run, Jamie, run, I'm a sucker for the wings. A couple different flavors. The wing bites are top notch. Safe by far. Delicious. We're the V spot on Providence Road. It's the best thing ever. Track and run, Jamie.